PET scans are being used more and more frequently as a diagnostic imaging tool for a wide variety of conditions. We'd like to provide you with an overview of this painless, state-of-the-art procedure in the event your physician requests a PET scan to help evaluate your health. PET stands for Positron Emission Tomography and is similar to a CT or Computed Tomography scan. Like the CT scan, you'll be asked to lie on a table, which will gently move you into an enclosed imaging device that looks like a donut. However, PET is different than CT in that it does not use x-rays. For your PET scan, you will be injected intravenously with a small amount of radioactive tracer containing glucose. The low-level radiation associated with this tracer is similar to the radiation you would receive during a standard x-ray or CT scan. Glucose is the principal circulating sugar in your blood and the major energy source for your body. Every cell in your body requires it, making it an excellent substance for this diagnostic exam. The physician uses PET scan imaging to follow the tracer labeled glucose as it travels through your body. Some cells, such as infections or tumors, use more glucose than others. This allows the PET camera to see where any abnormal cells are. You should not eat or drink anything for four to six hours before arriving for your scan. If you normally take medications, you can continue taking them with a small amount of water. Some facilities will ask you to drink eight glasses of water the day before the exam. You may also be asked to drink two glasses of water before arriving at the facility. Let the scheduler know if your doctor has restricted your fluid intake. You would want to limit your physical activity for 24 hours before the exam. Some pet studies may require you to eat a special meal the evening before the exam. The scheduler will let you know what, if any, meal requirements you might have. You will want to wear comfortable clothing to the facility. If you have a prior CT, MR, X-ray, or nuclear medicine study, you might be asked to bring copies with you the day of your exam. When you arrive in the department, you will be asked for a brief medical history, including any medication you might be taking. You might also be asked questions about your ability to lie still or to put your arms over your head. Female patients will be asked about the possibility of pregnancy or if they're currently breastfeeding. If you're claustrophobic or overly anxious, you may be given medication to relax. If you take this medication, you will need someone to drive you home after the test. Your blood glucose level will be checked with a small monitor similar to this one. If you're diabetic, please mention this at the time you schedule your test as additional precautions may be required. The blood glucose typically should be less than 200 in order for you to have the scan. Some tests require a higher glucose level. The facility will make that decision and will adjust your glucose level as needed. If you take insulin, be sure to administer it at least four hours before coming in for your study. You will be placed in a quiet, darkened location for your injection. It's important to lie still and rest, as this will impact the uptake of glucose to various parts of your body. Once the injection is given, it will be about 30 minutes to two hours before your pictures are taken. You will be asked to empty your bladder before being positioned on the table. For the exam, you'll be asked to lie flat, possibly with your arms over your head. The exam will take 15 minutes to two hours. You will need to remain still and quiet during this time. The table will quietly move periodically during the test. You should not experience any discomfort. The pictures the camera takes will measure the amount of radiation being put out by the tracer that was injected into your body. You should not hear any loud noises during the exam. There will be a technologist near you at all times who can address any questions or concerns you might have. The equipment may also have a CT scanner in it, so you may also have a CT scan at the same time. You will remain on the same table for this scan. The physician at the department or facility will review the pictures before you leave to make sure that he or she has all the images needed to interpret your scan. Overall, please plan to be in the facility for two to four hours. After the exam, you will not have any side effects and can eat normally. 
the results of your PET scan will typically be communicated to your physician within one to two days. If you have further questions regarding your PET scan, please talk to your doctor.